Hi, my name is Evan Flack. I'm the new technology associate for SBE, the Society for Biological Engineering. Um, we are here today with Terry Papatsakis, the winner of the Jay Bailey Award this year, and we are doing a new, new entry for the Connected Web Blog. So welcome, Terry. Um, we're happy Thank to you. have you here. I guess the first question we have for you is, in your talk yesterday, what were some of the main points that you want people who listen to take away from it? What I would like to convey was the idea that when we're thinking of creating a new biocatalyst, new cells, in terms of uh, diversity of the genomic space, we're trying to engage to create the new cells for biocatalysis and applications, whether it's for industrial bioprocessing or remediation, is that there is an enormous diversity out there that we're not currently capturing and that we're lacking the tools to do that. So I think it's going to be an important field that it will grow as the technology and cell engineering and synthetic biology grows in the field. Okay. Um, and what are you most excited about um, coming down the pipe right now as far as uh, that field that you just described for us? Well, it's, just, uh, it's a growing field, the context of um, genome engineering where you're trying to do large changes in the core cellular machinery and change big programs as opposed to one gene at a time or maybe small pathway trying to create new entities that do not exist and use evolutionary processes to engage some of that. So we've seen a lot of progress made working with a single genome, so we're trying to see whether we can expand it to start capturing this enormous diversity that exists on Earth and be able to sort of move forward with technology that will solve major problems like carbon capture, you know, the uh, finally making biofuels uh, an effective and economically processed producing chemicals through uh, renewable resources and so on. So I think it's going to require transformational technologies, and I think that's going to be one of the ways to get there. Okay, great. So obviously you've had a lot of success in your field. Um, you just won the SBJ Bailey Award. So as far as giving any sort of advice to people who want to follow in your footsteps, any uh, important career advice, uh, important lessons that you've learned over the year, are there, any, uh, are there a few that stand out in your mind? I would say people have to be positive and follow their heart. They've got to be passionate about what they do. You don't have this passionate drive to go after a problem or a set of problems and pursue them and persist and stay the course. Uh, nothing's going to work there. So I think it has to be driven by a commitment to a, an important set of problems to be able to serve society or technology, to educate people, whatever it is. You've got to find it and go with that. Okay, great. Um, so once again, thanks a lot for joining Surely. us today. Pleasure. And uh, congratulations on winning the award. Thank you. Great.